Well, Micah Shrewsbury and Neil Ivey broke barriers when they became the first black head coaches of Notre Dame basketball. But their friendship actually started a few years ago. And at the heart of it all, hoops and parenthood. She's somebody that you can trust. He's somebody I have a lot of respect for. A relationship built on mutual respect. Before new Notre Dame men's basketball coach Micah Shrewsbury and women's coach Neil Ivey were pacing the same sidelines at Purcell Pavilion, their paths crossed. Micah was an assistant in the NBA. Neil was an assistant coach for the Irish, while her son Jaden Ivey was just about to begin his career at Purdue. Coach McGraw and Neil came for a few days and were watching us practice in Boston. And Niel's just asking question after question about Purdue, about Coach Painter, and, and everything else. So as I was talking really good about the program and, and how good he would be there, you know, I never knew that a few months later I'd be coaching him there. Soon after that conversation, Micah returned for his second stint as an assistant coach under Matt Painter with the Boilermakers. And one of his main responsibilities was to work with Jaden, the incoming freshman phenom. He was such a sponge that he spent a lot of time in my office and we talked about different concepts on offense, like how I was kind of seeing the game, how we were trying to prepare for the next opponent. And, you know, that year with him was, was really fun. I thought he did a phenomenal job with Jaden. Jaden loved him, loved him. He was his position coach. He poured into Jaden. That season, Micah also got to know Niel a lot more. She was back and forth a lot, traveled to a lot of games for us. And it was like cool to see their relationship, but it was great to develop a relationship with her. After one season back with Purdue, Micah took his first head coaching job with Penn State. Three years later, Notre Dame came calling, and he knew just who to talk to. I called her to ask about Notre Dame because I knew that she'd been here for a long time. She understood this place from a player to an assistant coach to a head coach, but she was also gonna, she was gonna shoot me straight. She wasn't gonna lie to me about anything um, because I think the relationship was that important that she valued that over valued, you know, getting me here as a head coach. So I told him just to really embrace this place because this place can change your life. The magnitude of Notre Dame is so big. Him being the first African-American male coach here, I just experienced that. Um, being the first um, African-American female coach here, never be too high or too low um, and let this place um, help you. Niel was there as Micah was formally introduced at Notre Dame. And the two continue to support each other on and off the court. It's been a great relationship. It, I mean, I'm in his office, he's in my office. Um, we collaborate a lot. I just love him and I have so much respect for him and he's just a phenomenal coach and I'm excited that our, our, our players get a chance to be coached by him. It's one big family and I think we're pushing each other to be great and you need that and you need it, you know. Knowing that you have the support from that group is really cool. Well, Micah tells me that he's not just leaned on Niel and her staff, but that he also talks with football coach Marcus Freeman and national championship lacrosse coach Kevin Corrigan and so many other Irish coaches as much as he can. He says the collaboration here at Notre Dame has been a huge help for him as he navigates the first year of this rebuilding process. And Levon, we've seen him, he just has that personality. He's very chill, very mellow, but when he sees you, he smiles. He says hello, you know, you, you see him on campus and he's always interacting, yeah. it seems like. Very personable, very personable. So I, I, I like being around him, but that's the guy he is. Yeah, he definitely has his work cut out for him, but you can see the strides the team is already making.